Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick blender video and this is my first blender video and it's going to be on macros. Um, I'm new new to blender. I've done a few things, followed a few tutorials, but I'm not, I'm a noob. I'm not a pro. So if you're looking for a pro advice, intermediate advice, or even advanced beginner advice, this is not the place for you. So this is exploring and discovering together. So first I want to give a shout out to the fellow's video I watched. Uh, that's Alex Telford. He gives a nice uh, short nine minutes detailed explanation of how to do a macro and you might want to start there. Uh, I wouldn't mind if you go over there right now. Um, and I also want to give a shout out to uh, Tugin on Tuguan, whatever, um, for his Domino's STL. I'm using that in the video so I wanted to give you the Creative Commons shout out. Uh, is it Creative Commons? Yep. Okay, so there's your attribution. Good job. And then this is cool because it's an actual set of dominoes with all the numbers. So it's not just like blanks or fake dominoes. Um, so what I did was um, I want to make a video for pegboard Rube Goldberg. Um, basically, I want to have these shelves on a pegboard and I want that, the animated falling. So I, I imported the STL and for each one of and then I broke these apart. I split these. And what I want to do was um, I want to make them in, you know, individual objects and have their own origin. So first I needed to do a shift control alt C and I wanted to do origin to center of mass. So now this has, it'll rotate about itself correctly. So then I want to rotate it. So it was standing up like this. So I do, I did rotate Y 90 enter and I did rotate Z 90 enter. Um, and then that's the way I want it. But um, I quickly saw that this get, was going to get tedious and take me a long time to do, maybe an hour or something. So I watched a, I watched his video, and here I am. I've got my macro. You can see, I've got all the commands came as I typed. So that's all I need. So I could just right click, right click, right click, Control C, and then Control V over here, which I already did. Um, to paste it in. And these are gonna do exactly what I did with the mouse controls. One thing you do have to do is you have to import the BPY object or the library so that you can access these functions. Um, and now when I click on the domino, I click run script and it's done. I bet you, you could improve it even more. But I found with doing ad hoc macros, you just wanna do the basic. Um, you know, in my days of uh, Excel, I would try to make them super fancy and for a one-off job, you know, I'll never, I'll probably never do this again. So for a one-off job, don't try to, don't try to make menus or anything like that. Just do a quick script that saves 90% of your time. Don't, don't farm that 10%. It's not worth it in, in life. Uh, that's not Blender advice. That's just years of computer experience. So uh, to get this info screen, it's, it's uh, info here, or you're presented like this. So you can drag this down. This is one of those hidden things in Blender there's so many of. And to get to the text editor, you just do, you, you click here and pick from the editor type, you pick text editor. So it's that easy. Um, I'm so glad I, I took the time. Uh, it probably took me less time to, to watch the video and create the macro than it would have done to go through and, uh, you know, keyboard contortion, all of these, all of these dominoes by hand. So the next thing I gotta figure out, is there a way to select all these and have them ev evenly distributed? Uh, so I'm gonna watch a video, see if there's a video on that. And if there's an easy way, I'll come back to you. So uh, please uh, like and subscribe and click the alarm bell for notifications. Um, and thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.